Awesome. Let's go ahead and find a child's pose. People may uh, continue to jump in as they do. And when they do, no worries. We'll just have more of a breath consciousness. So forehead comes down, your hips come to the heels. If you need to change that position right away, go ahead and change it. We have some little cat love going on here. That is the cutest thing, Lisa. And so your knees can come further apart. You can draw them together. Together they create a shelf to elongate the spine. When you draw them apart, sometimes it can feel really nice for the organs to drape forward. And start to find and tether to your breath. And this is such a deep, beautiful connection that we're gonna come back to this tether. It's like your kite line. Think of it as your lifeline. Your, this is where you're gonna come back to time and time again. I'll mute everyone, which is only so you can then play your own music, which there are offerings in the chat box. Good. But we will still believe, breathe uh, in very vibrational ways. And what's great about breathing vibrationally when you're alone, you can really let it kind of go to places maybe you don't ordinarily go, and then you'll know that you can do that whenever. So the vibrational breath releases tension and stress, sometimes the kind of tension and stress we're not even aware of. Yeah, like living in a city, but being sheltering, things like that. So over the course of the next few breaths, let's walk our hands out forward, stretch the back body, the underside of the arms. Feel your hips start to enliven just in that sweet way. Then take one more inhale, hold it. Exhale, let it go, H-A, ha. Let's do another one, I'll organize it a little bit better. Empty, empty lungs. Take in an inhale, deep, smooth breath in through the nose. This time, keep your lips sealed. Exhale, HM. Mm. Notice the sounds. Yeah, the sounds create vibrations. Hi, Valerie. So slowly, slowly, let's walk our hands forward. Lift up all onto all fours, tabletop. So tabletop position, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. You can tuck the toes or untuck the toes. If you just joined us, you can start in the child's pose, which is hips on heels, forehead down, and take two, three, five, eight breaths there, and then join us. Anytime during the practice, you are invited to revisit your child's pose. So in your beautiful tabletop, the spine is long, the shoulders are almost wrist stack, your knees are under your hips. You can tuck your toes. I like to stretch the arches of my feet. Some days that's too much, so she leaves that to be down. Inhale, press the belly down, look up, chin up. Cow spine, cow heart. Exhale, tuck the chin and round. Look at your nipple, round in. Cat, cat spine, exaggerate these movements. Inhale, belly down, roll shoulders back. Look up towards the sky. And exhale, tuck the chin and round. Take that a few more times. Yes. Mama hugs are always welcome during cat cow. Inhaling, exhaling. Then you can start to kind of take it and make it your own. Turn it into some C curve, shoulder to hip. Maybe there's a little bit of this idea to roll your neck, your shoulders. And some even take it a little bit bigger and draw hips back by heels and then hips to the back of your wrists and make bigger circles and movements. Awesome. And then come back to tabletop and let's all just check. So check, shoulders, elbows, wrists, stack. Then everybody try and tuck your toes if you will. Good, and then from here, tuck your chin round your spine, just that little bit. Tucking toes, and lift your knees up about an inch. Just an inch, I think somebody has a question. 
Thanks, David. Oh, you're so sweet. So knees are up about an inch. Tuck your chin more. If it's a little too much, bring your hips back towards your heels a tiny bit. Take the pressure off your shoulders. It's just a little bit of a power move. Knees are off the ground just for a few more moments. And then exhale, hips up high, fingers spread wide. Beautiful, this looks like an upside down V. Feels like an upside down V. Hips high, tuck the chin, draw your heart back towards your thighs, and all the while, bend your knees. Generous bend of the knees and start to pedal your feet. Pedal your feet. I See, I think we have a few new people to the party, but also maybe to yoga. So as you're pedaling your feet, look in between your feet. Check that your feet are about six inches apart. Roughly the width of your face. Good. Then from here, like you could nest your skull in between your two big toes. Awesome. Lift the sit points up. Draw the underarms in towards one another. Expand across the back body, the back side of your heart. Yeah, let's find all the little spaces today in the body. The head is drawing down. Press the mat away. Good, and then start to straighten your legs as you tilt your pelvis, lengthen your spine. If it feels like your spine starts to round, just crease your knees a little bit again and find the length. Awesome. Then empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. And exhale, H-A, ha. Beautiful, on your next inhale, float and reach your right leg long. Reach and extend. Notice leg out straight from your hip. Flex your toes. That's it, you got it, Rosie. Lengthen. Stretch a little bit more, and on your exhale, let the hip roll open. Twirl the ankle, separate the toes a little bit. Flutter your lips, that's another way of breathing. Some like to pick their leg up super high, others it's more about the knee or ankle, good. Joe's squad, really nice. Adriana, very good. Nice, Linda. Deep, full breaths, inhaling, exhaling. As you're breathing, lengthen the right leg long, straight out from the hip. And exhale, kiss the toes down to the mat. Now on your next inhale, float and reach your left leg long, reach and extend. Lengthen the leg. One more big stretch, inhale. Exhale, let the hip roll open. Beautiful, and right and left side can be very various. May not be the same. Deep breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Big, beautiful breath. Then on your next inhale, float and reach your left leg long. Find some length, big stretch. Exhale, draw the toes down to the mat. Soften your knees, relax your neck. Look in between your hands, take a few steps to the top of your mat. So head heavy. Grab your elbow tips side to side. Yeah, shake it out, roll the shoulders. Nice, Sabrina, nice, Joyce. So you can bring a, a generous bend as well. Sometimes we think this whole straight leg is better. Bend and then feel the stretch from your heels all the way up to your sit points and then down along the shoulder heads. Check two fists in between your feet. Snug fit, like little earmuffs, right? The inner 
straighten the legs, inhale, hands to the shins, half lift, chin away, back flex. So crown of head comes forward, so neck spine is long. You can even have your hands on your thighs. Keep away from the knees, don't press on the joints, lengthen long. And exhale, release. Try it again, one breath, one movement style. We'll use this a lot. Inhale, create your half lift. Exhale, release as you out. One more, all in. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. Inhale, let's glide the arms all the way up into mountain, forward and up. And then stand tall on your mountain. Beautiful breaths. Close your eyes, release the visual. Start to feel your way into your body, this sacred container that houses your experience. We know the experience comes out and emanates and reflects to everyone, all of mankind, the universe. So feel your body in space the container on the mat, the mat in the room, the breath coming in and out of your body. Sometimes it's easiest to think inhale and exhale. For some of us, it's very visceral. Notice the air on the upper lip, your lungs pumping. And then all together, let's empty the lungs. Taking a lovely inhale. Reach your arms up, lift your heart up, press your hips forward, and exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Beautiful, now one breath, one movement. Inhale, glide up into your mountain, rise up, wave up to the mountain, and then maybe a little over, and exhale, fold forward. And two more times, maybe it's all mountain or a little more wave. Notice what the experience is. Let it start to come together, body and breath. You might even be surprised by how you feel. You don't have to go as quick as anyone else or as slow as anyone else. Move with your breath. From our forward fold, we'll inhale halfway lift, chin away, back flattens, and exhale, release. Hands down, step your feet back, pause and upper push a plank. So upper push-up plank so often becomes the nemesis. No way, not today. So you can always release to the knees. Do knees, chin, chest, baby cobra. Let's all just try that one for today. I don't often teach that right from the gate, but let's try it. Everybody bring your knees down, just try it. Then inhale, lift, exhale, lower chin, chest, tuck your elbows in. Slide your torso onto the mat, release your feet. Tuck your elbows in, pick the chin up, just the chin and the shoulders. And release, exhale, forehead down, bend your knees, press back up into down dog. Once we're in down dog, empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale, long spine. Exhale, H-A, ha. <sighs> Soften your knees, relax your neck. Take a few steps to the top of your mat or a hop. Good, inhale, halfway lift. We're gonna put it all together. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise your arms up, lift up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. To modified sun salutation, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, hands down. Step back, find up or push up plank. And then pause. So if knees, chin, chest, baby cobra works for you, stay with that. Otherwise, you can also try this. Shoulders, elbows, wrists back. Slightly hard forward, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower halfway. Lift your toes, draw your heart through the gates of the shoulders, look up, feel suspended between your hands and feet. Lift up, dog, and exhale, it, Jeha. Down dog, hips up high, fingers spread wide. Beautiful. So let's do three more together. Soften the knees, relax your neck. Come to top of mat. You'll start to move at your own pace. Top of mat, you greet, inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, release. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, release. Hands catch mat. Step, jump back. If you're a jump back, jump back to lower push up easier on your joints. And keep moving. Feel the flow. And the flow comes directly from the connection of your body and breath. The most important thing today, let the feelings kaleidoscope. You'll find the top of the mat, meaning just let the feelings come and go. Let the thoughts come and go. If the flow is not your thing, stay in your down dog or child's pose. I cannot tell you how many classes I have child's posed because it felt good. I don't know if I was tired or thinking too much or emotional, but it felt good. Beautiful. As we all meet back in our down dog, take a few breaths. We might use language like clean it up. That would be, how does it feel? Can you lengthen your spine a little more? Bend your knees, draw the underarms in towards one another. Hi, cutie pie. So empty, empty lungs. Taking a nice full inhale. Biggest breath so far. Tilt the pelvis, draw the heart back. Exhale, H-A. Ha. Ah. Inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Stretch the leg, lift it up. Exhale, step your right foot all the way in between your hands. Keep your back left heel lifted. Good, left hand down, right arm up, find a twist. So as you reach up, you can come down on the back knee as you reach up. Look all the way up past your fingertips. Then perhaps close your eyes. Releasing the visual can allow more sensation to show up through the body. You'll have a, a more visceral practice, more physical. Sometimes also, my emotional body releases. Press away with your bottom hand, reach up with your top deep, deep twist, and release, right hand down. Peel your back heel down, inhale into your warrior one. So rise up, both arms up, reach up. Close your eyes. Breathe, Let, uh, right knee directly over right ankle, looks good. Outer edge of back foot, squeeze it into the mat. So from your back heel all the way up to your pinky toe. Feel the arches of your feet light up. Your toes are also working. Good, the whole foot working. Sit low, drive left hip forward, right hip back. Drain the lungs, awesome. Arms about shoulder width or a little wider. Sit low. Better, inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, both hands down. Step your right foot back, flow it out. And the best way to learn is to be childlike, let yourself laugh, all is well. The releases through your whole body, not just what we're working on. Inhale, the left leg long, reach, extend. Big stretch, exhale, step your left foot all the way in between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted. Good, right hand down, left arm up, look up. You can always come down on the back knee. Keep reaching up. See if you can get your chin to your left shoulder as you reach up, almost like you're gonna tell your armpit a really sweet little secret. Good, one more breath, nice Joe. Press away, reach, reach, reach. Big stretch and release, left hand down. Peel the back heel down, inhale, both arms up, warrior one. Warrior one, left side. So keep closing your eyes if it's possible. Maybe still in the gaze. Often, especially when I first started the yoga, closing the eyes was, had me disappear. I couldn't stay present in my baking. So I just gaze forward for a moment, smile, and repeat. Right hip forward, left back, very often is more of a feels like than a looks like. Good, feel your feet root and plant, the arms rising, both arms up, 
maybe shoulder width a little wider, sit low, drain the lungs, inhale, reach up, reach back, exhale, hands down, step it back, flow it out, high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement. Warrior one, you can keep the twist or lose the twist, all is well. Coming to the mat this morning was such a, an act of self-love, self-care. So what happens on the mat is the same. Twist, no twist, one is not more enlightened than the other. Stay deeply connected, beautiful Lori. Good, Maisie. We come back into down dog after your left side. Empty, empty lungs. If you're still moving, keep moving. Taking a deep, full inhale, biggest breath, fullest breath, hold it. Exhale, H A. Soften the knees, relax your neck. Take a step or a hop forward, find the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Check that your feet are about hip Swiss distance. Two fists in between your feet. Yeah, a nice sweet fit. Good, deep breaths. Toes forward. Yeah, let's check. Everybody two fists, nice. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Chair pose. So sit low, reach long. Big breaths as you inhale and exhale. Sitting low, reaching long. So think weight in the heels. Shins back in space. Arms rising, arms are shoulder width. Turn the pinkies in, thumbs out. Good, take a few breaths. Notice if you can close the eyes for two breaths. Where does your intention go? Is it some kind of uh, repetitive dialogue? Because you're doing this, you're stronger than you think. So let go of what you're thinking, good. Don't sit too low, don't sit lower than the knees. That's actually a form of cheating. I found that out the hard way. Sitting low, reaching long, pinkies in. One more breath, weight towards heels. Everybody stand up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose again. So as you sit low and reach long, think of all the elements of the chair. The Sanskrit word is ukatasana, awkward, fierce, extraordinary. When I learned that, it summed up the whole posture. I felt awkward sitting back. Where was my fierce heart? If you feel and listen for it, you will have it. Good, that's it. So now breathe. And sometimes the most extraordinary part of the whole shake is remaining, going a little softer, or could you find an edge right now? Everybody, where's your edge? Edges are different. Good, turn pinky in. Some of them are emotional, some of them are mental. We've got this. One more time, sit low, reach long. Exhale, dive, release. Beautiful, shake it out. Bend your knees a lot. We're gonna move into gorilla. I'm gonna change the camera view so you can see. So from here, slide your right hand underneath the right foot. Left hand underneath the left foot. Then drop the weight forward in your toe pads. Let your head come down. Sit points up. So for many, that might not even be straightening the legs, but it'll feel like you're trying to straighten your legs. Yeah, nod your head. You're stepping on your whole hand, yeah. Draw the weight forward, wiggle your toes, yeah. So many of us on the computers and the phones so much, let's stretch our wrists, the fascia there.
Keep your hands under your feet. Try, inhale, halfway lift, chin away, back flattens, sensation, beautiful. And release, unstep your hands, good. Inhale, halfway lift again, can feel really good. Take another one and release, hands down, step back. Find your flow, upper push up to lower, up dog to down, maybe it's knees, chin, chest, baby cobra. This is about the smooth breath, moving the prana through your body. Inhale the right leg long, on your inhale, right leg long. Exhale, sweep it all the way in between your thumbs. Dial the back heel down, inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, right arm forward, left arm back. Close your eyes, sit nice and low, reach wide. Big, beautiful breaths as you sit low. Feel the shoulders stack over the hips. The heart is rising. Your torso is in the center of the handlebars of the hips as you sit low. Big, beautiful breaths. Inhaling, exhaling. Good, feel your heart rise. Reach your arms away from one another. Engage the shoulder girdle. Teach your arms how to be super strong. Beautiful, spread the fingers wide. Close your eyes. Take up all the space. Drain the lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale, reach wide. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your right leg back, flow, high to low, up to down. On your next inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Exhale, step it all the way in between your hands. Dial the back heel down. Inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back. Step your feet further away from one another. As you sit nice and low, the outer edge of your back foot is now parallel to the back short edge of your mat. Reach your arms super wide, sit low. Beautiful breaths. Heart is rising, look over the left shoulder. Close your eyes. It's almost like you're leaning back on a wall. Keep the shoulders open. Sit points come down towards the mat. Feel the heels pulling towards one another. The inner seams of your legs light up. Take up all the space. Even spread your fingers wide. Beautiful. Empty the lungs. Sit low. Inhale, reach wide, as wide as you can. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your leg back, find your flow. High to low, up to down. One breath, one movement. Warrior one, warrior two, move at your own pace. As we open up, notice where the connection of body and breath goes. Try not to get distracted. The vayu, the winds inside us as we breathe and open up these pockets and places that we vacated or just don't visit often, allow new energy to run through your body. So it's not unusual to have all kinds of feelings come up. Yeah, just keep moving and notice. Notice them change. The commitment to yourself, to come to the mat, can often shift as well. As you finish up the left side, take that moment in down dog. Bring your awareness to all the places in your body, the soles of your feet, the palms of your hands. Feel the seams of your arms enliven. The side bodies, tilt your pelvis a little bit. Good, you can crease the knees, calling for your hamstrings to open, straighten the legs a tiny bit more if you can. And then empty, empty lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale. Biggest breath so far, everybody stick your tongue out. 
On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Exhale, let's sweep it all the way in between your hands, please. Dial the back heel down. Inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, right arm forward, left arm back. Step the feet further away from one another. Close your eyes. First, feel the bigness of your warrior two. And then we're gonna use this space you just created, this platform. Look over your right fingertips. Slip your right arm. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, right arm up, left hand down the back leg. One more below the knee for stability. Stability. Sit low. Reach long. Feel the side bodies enliven, your ribs. There's connective tissue there, the intercostal muscles, interior and exterior, as they stretch, almost like an accordion. The prize is how good this feels or can feel. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm, maybe not at first. Right knee over right ankle. Sit a little lower if it's possible. Iron out the right elbow. Reach all the way back as far as you can. And exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Step your right leg back. Find your flow, high to low, up to down. Nice, James, good, Valerie. Nice, Kate, good, keep moving. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, swipe it all the way in between your hands. Peel the back heel down, rise up, open up. Step the feet further apart. Begin to feel this beautiful stacking of Shoulders, hips, this scaffolding allows you to create the most amazing reverse warrior. So sit a little lower, no hurry here. Look over left fingertips. Flip the left palm, inhale, take a reach forward and release left arm up, right hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. Feel the ribs span open. Turn the left pinky in towards your face, almost like you're trying to read your palm. Not enough time for that. You have a beautiful long leg, yeah. Good, maybe peel the back hip away from inner left heel a little bit more. Sit a little lower, that was nice, Kate. Sit low, inhale, reach all the way back as far as you can, touch tone and release. Cartwheel your hands down. Step your leg back, flow, high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement, it's all you. So as you come through your warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior, the choices come out of the connection of your breath, the commitment to come to your mat today. Smooth, easy. Each movement has one breath, and each breath has one movement. Notice if you fight against that. I very often notice I have a very belligerent mind. I'll, I'll fight something. And this yoga, over time, has really allowed my mind to be so much more flexible and open. We're all so intelligent in all the different ways, but as we connect deeper within, so much is available for us to take advantage of. I've widened my comfort zone. Uh, I've stepped to the edge of it in ways I never thought I could, mentally and emotionally. It's so, it's been so fortifying all starting and remaining in the connection of breath and body. We come back into the down dog. If you're still moving, you're in the perfect place. You'll find us, soften your knees, relax your neck, take a few steps or jump forward, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away, back flattens and release awesome check that your feet are about hip swiss distance we'll do one more chair good we're gonna turn it into a balancing chair inhale hips down arms up chair pose so sit low reach long and almost like you're gonna go skiing right get the hips a little lower if possible sit low on your next exhale swipe your arms back by 
by your hips. Like not low near your knees by your hips. Awesome. And when I say things like that, that's because that's what I do. So reach your arms all the way back. Shift the weight to your right leg. We can all do this. Plug the big right toe and pull your back heel. Pick your left heel up towards your buttock. Then send your left leg long, keep it hip high. Hinge forward. Good. Crown of head comes forward. Bring your hands to heart center. Awesome. So you go from awkward airplane to heart airplane. Then reach your arms forward. Standing stick. Reach and lengthen for three. For two, for one. Both hands down. Right hand in front, right foot. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Or keep your left hand down. I did that myself when I first started. Everybody pick your left hip up. We're moving into balancing half moon. So left hand on left hip or on the ground, lifting hips, left arm can reach up, kick the left foot all the way up. That's okay, come back in. One more lovely sweet breath, nice variations. And release, left hand down, left foot down, forward fold. Sway a little right and left. Awesome. So check that your feet are hip swept. Inhale, let's cal recalibrate the spine. Lengthen long, half lift, and release. From here, inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. Good, sit low. And again, could you get your chair lower? Sometimes I'll bounce and get a little lower. Good. Exhale, sweat your arms back. Spread your fingers wide like you want to touch the back of your neck. Good, then shift the weight left leg. Pick your right heel up, towards your butt up. Hinge forward. Draw your right leg back. There's always an option to stay here. Draw the right hip down. Just a little bit, nudge it down towards the floor. Hands to heart center. Doing amazing, everyone, good. Then reach your arms forward. I know we're stringing a few balancing postures together. Reach and lengthen, reach and lengthen. So amazing. And both hands down. And you can work here. Kick, peel your right hip up towards the sky. Lift your left hip up. Stabilize. Put the big left toe in the back. Inner heel and outer heel. Keep your right leg up a little higher. Right hand to right hip. You can even bring your right hand up. You can start to look up. All the variations are welcome. One more breath. Good, that's it, yep. Use what you got there, I see you. One more breath and release. Right hand down, right foot next to left. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away back, flattens. And release, both hands down, step back, flow it out, high to low, up to down. Try and exhale, H-A, hot down dog. <sighs> Soften your knees, relax your neck. Take a step or a jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Awesome. Toe heel your feet together. Good, feet together. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Palms press, thunderbolt. So it's similar to chair, some call it the cousin. Squeeze your knees, sit your hips back and down, reach your arms up. The arms can come across the edges of your lips, your cheekbones, your ear flaps. Keep sitting low, reaching long. Take one more full breath, and exhale, dive, release. Shake it out a little bit, grab your tail. So big toes together, knees together. Inhale, hips down, arms up, arms press, thunderbolt. Squeeze the legs. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, the upper body lifts, elbows one line. Inhale, upper body lifts, exhale, left elbow, right knee. 
and look over the right shoulder. Check for the hip stay below your navel. Head above your heart. Good. If your left knee is coming forward, draw that left hip back. That was a joke. So then left hand down, right arm up, you could fly. If flying has your hips twisting, come back to heart center and work on hips below the navel. Head above heart a little bit, Julie, hips a little lower. For three, maybe bring in a little vine, so be. And release, come back to center. Inhale, strong moment, exhale. Let's move right elbow, left knee. Feel the twist. It's more like the tricep on the side of the knee. Draw your right hip back a little bit. Ariana, yeah, good. Right hip a little more towards the back of your mat, better. So press your hands to heart center. You could try a flyer bind. Good, Isabel, nice, Sabrina. Open up. Maybe breathe right into the bind. One more, great work. Nice, Lori, nice, Joyce. And release, come back to center. Upper body lifts. On the inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, hands down. Step back, find your flow, high to low, up to down. Inhale, the right leg long. Exhale, sweep the right foot all the way in between your hands. Please pause. Check that your feet are about hip Swiss distance, sometimes heel toeing either foot out, back foot to the left, front foot to the right. Back heel is lifted. Inhale, both arms up. High lunge. So when we come into high lunge, the hips are forward like two headlights. The handlebars of the hips face forward, yes. Your back heel is lifted, sometimes even coming out a little wider. Don't sink into flexibility in the seat. Hug your low belly in, strong core, strong glutes and quads. Back leg is long, heels lifted above toes. Exhale your hands to heart center. Elbows one line, thumbs touch the center of the chest. Inhale, upper body lifts. Exhale. Twist to the right, left elbow, right knee. You can always drop a back knee. That can be a really helpful technique, especially in the beginning. Try to be more on the top of your knee thigh than your kneecap, yeah. So the knee behind your hip. So left elbow, right knee, open up into a fly perhaps. One more, maybe a sweet little bind. I see you, okay, you got it. Oh, very nice. And release, let's come back to center. Listen carefully, everybody drop the back knee. Everybody bring the back knee down, good. Bring both hands down. Heel toe your right foot out to the right. This is called lizard. So you can keep both hands down. It's more of like a baby dragon. Lengthen your left leg a little bit more if you, yes, that's it. And then let your head come down. You can come down on one forearm or two. Close your eyes. Flutter the lips. Good, nice Jessica, nice Teresa. Back leg is long. Long lizard spine, think long, little rounding of the spine, a little bit of a cat spine with a little more length. Mm -hmm. Bring your forearms down if you can, yes. Yeah. Flutter your lips a little bit. Slowly, slowly begin to press away. As you press away, heel toe your right foot back to center, right hand on the other side of the foot. Flex your right toes, 
Bring your hips back towards your heel, half split. Forehead to shin. So keep your hips high, head low, rounding forward. For most of us, we'll pause here, big stretch along the entire right back body. Back side of the leg, coming forward. This might be the time in class you'll see people working on things that they have in their practice. One of the most amazing parts of being um, in the Yoga to the People community is all different levels of yogis practice together. They have inspired me. Uh, I have compared and found that wanting, comparing, it never works. We're all so different. But being inspired, invited so all the different pockets and places you'll go to in the thought realm in your heart realm to have an empirical experience your own experience which will then inspire someone who comes after you who's finding yoga so slowly slowly start to lift up draw your hips forward bend your right leg step it back Find your flow, high to low, up to down. And that's how we all work together for the greater good. We all inspire each other, alone together. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale, deepest breath. Exhale, H A. <sighs> inhale the left leg long. We start with our crescent lunge. Step the left foot all the way in between your hands. Check your back heels lifted. And again, sometimes the feet a little bit wider than hips width can be super useful and helpful. Inhale, both arms up. Crescent lunge, high lunge. It's almost like a high runner's lunge, yeah. Back heel is lifted, strong back leg. Hips face forward. Arms rising. Sometimes the arms are a little wider than shoulder width. Good, exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale, the upper body lifts. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Come into a twist. Look over your left shoulder, very good. You can always drop a knee. Good, deep breaths. Sometimes dropping a knee on one side happens and not the other. Good, yeah, use the wall or the bed, I love that. Right hand down, left arm up. It's intelligent to do modifications. They bring maximum benefits. If you're binding right about now, take a few more breaths. Let the dome of the ribs roll open and release. Come back to center. Hands down. Heel toe your left foot out to the left side of the mat. Lengthen your right leg. So you're more on the top of the left knee thigh. Then come all the way down. Maybe it's one forearm or two. Maybe it's just your hands. And that's not a like actually adjust. <laughs> yeah. It's also called baby dragons when you're on your hands. That's in a different whole different type of yoga. Well, not totally different. Yin yoga is just we stretch the connective tissue here where using our muscles and connecting body and breath. Send the breath to where you feel a little dull ache here. Good. Nice, Joyce. Is it Rosie or Rossi? Maisie, Muriel, Jen. Jim, Ozzy, hi, Kyla, Kayla, Kate, Sheridan, Barbara, so nice. Luna. Good, then slowly, slowly lift up first. Lift up. Hips are level, yeah. Heel till your foot back to center for a half splits. Good. Then hips come back. Flex your left toes, forehead. And 
and breathe. Sometimes flexing the toes is exactly all you need. The motorboat lips can release the jaw, the throat, so your throat is open, so you can breathe with a little more fullness, a little more clarity. Slowly, slowly, walk your hands forward. Good, step your left foot back and flow it out. High to low, up to down. Beautiful, from your down dog, empty, empty lungs. Taking a nice full inhale and exhale, H-A. <sighs> inhale the right leg long. Let the hip roll open, twirl the ankle, separate the toes. Time for half pigeon. Right knee comes out past your right hip. The top of your foot's on the left side of your mat. The left leg is long, yeah, square your hips. Nice, Sabrina, lift up, heart lifts. Good, Lisa, and then slowly drag your hands forward. Good, looks pretty good, Linda, there we go. Forehead comes down. Good, figure four, see you, Isabel, very nice. Good choices. Nice, Lauren. Forehead comes down, soften the shoulders. A few people getting some nice adjusts, good. Send the breath through your entire body where you need it. Here's a quote called The Offering. We fist up to weather the days, though no one told us it has to be this way. We just constrict to keep what is tender from being hurt. And if blessed, we crack in our pride open anyway, till the heart like an oyster shows its softness, open by time. I'm more fallible, more humble, able to trip more easily into joy. Who would have guessed that the softness between us glitters like the stardust that it is? Who would have guessed that offering what is tender is what will save us? Everybody empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale. Exhale, H-A. So slowly lift up, but listen carefully. You'll just pause here. Slide your right leg underneath you, please. Come down to your belly. Come all the way down. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see me. I call this spooning the earth. It's really more of like a half rock. So come all the way down, cactus your elbows, bring your right ear on the mat, look to the left. Slide your left knee up towards your left elbow and let yourself fall into the mat. And just notice, so goal post your arms so the elbows are on the mat, the elbows are shoulder height. Yes, there we go just to fall into the mat feeling. Almost like a preference to your shavasana, but it's a belly, it's a home shavasana. Good, two more breaths. And let's release, slide the left leg long. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, bend your knees. Press back up into your down wall. Inhale your left leg long. Let the hip roll open, create some space for your pigeon stretch. Left knee 
behind the left ribs. Good, the foot to the right, lengthen, lift up. And walk your hands forward. And bring the forehead down. Close your eyes. Big breath. Feel the softness of your breath as you inhale and exhale. If it's a little choppier, help. Empty like shh. So we inhale. And exhale, each um, And then slowly, sweetly, begin to lift up. You'll slide the left leg underneath you. Good, bring the belly down. Cactus your elbows again, just like this, yeah. Bring your left ear on the mat. Slide your right knee up towards your right elbow. And again, let yourself sink and fall into Mother Earth, the true mother of all of us. Feel your heart beat, your lungs pop, this new view of your heart and lungs these two sacred movements that become so secret when we bring just the sweetest amount of attention and intention there. And then slowly release your left leg long, flip onto your back. Good, close your eyes. Hug your knees in, we'll sway a little right and left. Then bring your knees to the right, your hips a little bit left, arms out wide. Just a sweet little twist, we'll end with a twist. Let gravity do the twist, close the eyes. And again, closing the eyes is just an offering. If for any reason, closing your eyes, as you disassociate or abandon the scene, just gentle eyelids at half mass, stay present. Don't miss a thing. Present to each moment of your practice, your life, even the little painful bits. We learn so much there. Slowly, slowly bring your knees back to center. Hug the knees in. Draw the hips to the right. Knees to the left, arms wide, good. Flutter your lips a little bit, perhaps this time. All is well. In these quieter moments, just notice 
if it's harder for you to remain present. And then slowly, slowly, not quickly, bring your legs back to center. Hug the knees in and then draw your legs nice and long for your Shavasana. And if there's something you're craving, just wait until we kind of get complete together, have some closure and a breath. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. I put the, um, we are accepting donations and the donations are allowing us to virtually teach and get ready to reopen the studios. We're so excited. Thank you for traveling the journey with us. We're so grateful for you. Let everything settle in. Just going to read another quick quote. It's called The Labyrinth to Shared Happiness. And though I run to get out of the rain, it's standing in the rain with my hands on my heart that is cleansing. And though I run, I run from the pain. It's standing in the pain with my face to the sky that is healing. So I never stop healing the hurt, never stop trusting life to burst through whatever I have to face. Even when lost, there's a truth we carry. We carry that when released, we can return us to the ground beneath all trouble, beneath all pain, beneath the worm in my mind that wants to run. Facing things together is how we move through the labyrinth of trouble, from thinking alone to feeling together. Have an amazing, fabulous day. Come back soon. Empty, empty lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale, deepest, fullest breath, hold it. Exhale, H-A. 